A Turlock man faces several charges tonight after police say he kidnapped a woman at gunpoint at an ATM. Police arrested Robert Green after a wild police pursuit. A new tonight CBS 13 Steve Large is in Turlock, where he spoke to neighbors who watched cops track him down. It is a worst case scenario for a woman using this ATM, confronted by a man with a gun who demanded her money and forced her into her car for a nightmare ride. Police say this is the 19 year old who did it, Robert Green, allegedly robbing, kidnapping, and sexually assaulting a woman at gunpoint before she somehow managed to escape and call police. I came out front to see what was happening, and my whole cul de sac was just, you know, filled with police cars. The police pursuit ended in front of Cherie Starkey's home. He um, bailed his car right by my mailbox. Starkey says Green dropped his gun before breaking down her gate to run through her backyard. The gun was just laying right here. Just right on the concrete. It was just laying right here on the concrete. Turlock police say this was the third armed robbery at an ATM in a month. Although the other victims were men, investigators are trying to determine if Green is responsible for all of them. We see more and more of these things happening. Bryant McGrath recently started a Facebook group called Armed Turlock, aimed at offering people self-defense and concealed carry tips. Our goal is to specifically break those fears, teach them correctly and safely how to manage uh, owning a weapon and deploying it if needed. A terrifying crime that has people in Turlock on edge and on guard. It's very scary. I don't go to ATMs at night. If I do, I go inside to the store. Green is facing a long list of charges, including robbery, kidnapping, and sexual assault. Turlock police say that Green's victim was able to free herself after she was forced to drive to Donnelly Park. That's about a mile from the ATM where she was taken at 